Hello, have here some Lilium Regale seeds. Really easy to grow these, our Christmas lily here in the southern hemisphere. Um, super easy to get millions of seeds. If you've got a couple of plants, each plant can, or each flower can produce hundreds of seeds. So I'm going to show you how to pollinate these. It's real simple. Just find two flowers on a, preferably on different plants, as they're generally not self-pollinating, self-fertile. Um, so you need two separate plants. So here's a cut flower. I'm just going to show you how to pollinate these. So I just pick a pollinanther and I'll pick it up by the end. Any pollen on that one you can see all over my fingers there. And then I will go to another plant and you can see that's sticky on there. It's quite wet and they're receptive. And just apply that pollen all over there. Quite simple, that's all it takes. And come autumn, the ovary which is you can just see the bright green down the bottom there. Once all the petals fall off, that will swell up. It'll become stand erect, it'll stand up and start to swell up and then eventually go brown and start to split open. So you want to grab it before it splits right open and uh, releases seeds everywhere. The way to tell if lily seeds are viable is if you look, get up close to one here. Now focus, you'll see, see that line in the center? That's the embryo. So if you can see that line in the center, you've got a viable seed. So what you want to do with these is uh, plant them in spring. So for us in the southern hemisphere, I would plant these sort of first week of September, last week of August, around there. And you want them just really really lightly covered so I'll just plant them in some potting mix I like to plant them in a box of potting mix quite a deep box because they, they do have a lot of roots even after one season and I'll scatter them on the surface of potting mix and then I'll cover them really lightly with some seed raising mix something fine that, that is easy to water um, and I'll put just enough on to cover them so I will then generally wet it um, with a fine mist so something that won't blast all the dirt off the top of them and then I usually just put them somewhere in the shade so as they don't dry out and if you are planting them at the beginning of spring they won't dry out as long as they're in the shade um, yeah so give them a couple of weeks and sort of um, mid spring they should or early to mid spring they should start poking through and you'll see little straps little green straps often with the seed attached it's going to poke through and they come through in a loop when they first come through so I've got some here that have only been up for a month or so so you'll see they've just got the strap type leaf and some of them are just starting to poke through their second main leaf. So here I've got some that I planted a little earlier. These were planted at the beginning of spring. And you can see they're starting to get a couple of primary leaves now. And if I poke around in there, you'll see the bulbs are starting to get to be a reasonable size now already. So I'll basically leave them in the box for the entire summer and when they die down in autumn I will pop them out and you'll find that you've got a huge tangle and mess of roots so I pick them apart separate the bulbs out and then plant them straight away in your main bed before they can dry out 
So you want to plant them quite deep. Um, you'll probably end up with bulbs about walnut size generally is what I've found. And some of them, say half, two thirds, will flower the following year. And here's some that I planted from seed just over a year ago and a lot of them have got single flowers on them now and will have multiple flower heads next year. So I'd suggest not cutting them in the first year um, so as they can put all their energy into bulb growth. And in fact these I probably should have cut the flower heads off them so as they can put all their energy into into uh, vegetative growth. So there you have it, how to grow Lilium regale, the Christmas lily.